I bought of Hannah Meal, mine uncle's son, the field which is in Anathoth, and weighed him the money, seventeen shekels of silver. Jeremiah 32, 9. Faith in God despite difficulties. It seems like quite a normal and proper transaction, Jeremiah purchasing a family field in Anathoth, in accordance with the special redemption laws which the Lord had given to Israel. But the circumstances under which the purchase was made were anything but normal. The city of Jerusalem was in its death throes, besieged by the mighty Babylonian army. Why then did Jeremiah make such a strange purchase? For two reasons. First, because God told him to. That's always reason enough to do anything. As Jeremiah said, I knew that this was the word of Jehovah, and I bought the field. Jeremiah's second reason for his strange purchase is equally encouraging. It is implied in the instructions he gave that the purchase deeds should be carefully sealed and preserved. Jeremiah looked by faith beyond the Babylonian captivity to a time when God would restore his people Israel to their own land. It's lovely to look at Jeremiah's obedience and faith, but that's not the whole story. His prayer which followed the transaction reveals some of Jeremiah's struggles in the matter. Although he recognized God's sovereign power and righteous ways, the sword and famine and pestilence were much more visible. The Babylonians were about to destroy his beloved city. The story concludes with God's answer. He will have the final word. In the meantime, Jeremiah must rest upon those powerful words which have been such a bulwark for God's people down through the centuries. Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Verse 32 to 37, KJV, Grant W. Steitel. We expect a bright tomorrow, all will be well. Faith can sing through days of sorrow, all, all is well. M. Boley.